Variable number three in having a high converting website. And that variable is high quality photography. Now, Clay, we've talked about websites. I know you shared your, your passion about pictures that are kind of cruddy and crummy in some websites. Now, tell us, because I know you're also part of a photography company, one of the best in Oklahoma, if not the, I think it's the best, so I just have to say that. Well, why, why, is, why is photography important in your website? Well, I'm going to rip on myself for a second. I mean, mm. just, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> the photography thing is like, there are good photographers for different things. So there are photographers who understand the dark arts of like wedding photography. I am one of those people. So I look at wedding photography and I know it. I know what you want. I know you want a photo of you walking down the aisle. Oh, and you know you do. And you want it where you're walking down the aisle and you're looking at your spouse for the first time and you want that face like, preach it, brother. And then you want the other, where, where you know, she's looking at you or you're looking at her and you want that reaction where they, you, you see them for the first time and it's, and then you want that toast where your dad's like, <laughs> and you want that first dance so where that, you're, you first dance where you're hugging and you're just like, it's okay, baby. You're going to be married. Dad, I don't want to be married, but I want to be married. No, it's okay. I'll let you go. No, it is. And then, the, then, then the fiance is like, can, hey, can we have some cake or what? And, yeah. you're like, <laughs> and the ring bearer. Don't forget the flower girl. You yeah. Know, and I, asleep. And these are the, I mean, these are the, yeah, these are the things. The, the flower girl falling asleep. I know wedding photography, but commercial photography, that's a different game. Yep. Now, our team is, is getting better and better. And we are actually, I would say, in maybe the top, 20 percent but there is a man oh there is a man there is a man there is a man there is a man and i want to google this man real quick it's Corey lack photography in this man he is like the the best i've ever seen and he is so good in fact that i don't get paid anything uh Corey was there at the beginning of thrive 15 been a you know key part of the team but if you look at his work so let's just click on his portfolio here on uh, uh you know like commercial for a second on you know so like there yeah commercial and if you look at some of the stuff there click that defensive training one you know to the left yeah click that it's just i mean it's like is this a really a picture i mean it's it's like so good the stuff he does now and again if it, if it takes a minute to load we're gonna go ahead and clear up that awkwardness by making sure there's some great music let's let's, let's keep kind of click around here we'll, we'll find something <laughs> scroll down to the bottom maybe okay yeah just kind of we'll find one scroll up there to the top there Stuart. For some reason, it keeps taking yeah. it just to that that absolute ridiculous. Click on the portfolio up there. Okay. Yep, and then right there at the top, click on portraits to the right, right there. Yes. Now, just I mean, look at the image there on the right, the top right. Yep. Per click that thing. See if it'll work. Come on, come on, baby, let's work. <laughs> yes. Now, I would just say that photo is better than any photo that I have ever taken, or any photo that my team shall ever take. Now, let's go back one. Let's go back one. Because I just, I mean, these are just real things. So let's go back. Yeah, port portraits. So let's go down a little bit. You know, and let's go down. Let's do the guy with the cigar right there. Bottom left. Perhaps you could take a photo that good. I mean, perhaps you're watching right now and you're like, I take photos like that, like just on my iPhone because I'm just like wicked awesome. I don't even freaking I need to edit them. It's natural light. You know, I just see things, you know. <laughs> well, if you do, I mean, you probably should be in the next, you know, Mel Gibson Sixth Sense kind of movie or something but seriously you, that's awesome is yeah. it not oh yeah he's good the angle so knows the stuff quit taking bad photos yeah so I'm just telling you you need to invest in good if you're I mean if you're not in it to win it if you're in it to lose then don't take good photos yeah but if you're in it to win it you gotta take great photos now Stuart yeah if we can't afford great photos now by the way I don't want to quote his prices because I don't know what he would charge for what you're gonna do but I'll just say I grew up on, you know, where we didn't have a lot of financial resources, okay? And when I was taking photos of the DJ business, they were so bad. Stuart, go, can we go back to the Wayback Machine so we can prove what I'm saying? They're so bad. And it wasn't that I'm a bad guy. I mean, I'm probably a bad guy. <laughs> but the thing is, is that I just, I tried my best, you know? Yeah. But the customer doesn't give a crap. They're not going, this guy's probably doing his best, Mom. We should buy it. Or he's doing his best. They're like... He's so weird, you know? So what you got to do is you have to... I mean, look at... Oh, no. Mm. Now, like, move forward into the future a little bit. It's amazing how people will immediately judge you by the quality of your pictures. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's terrible. And the thing is... But it's know, so true. We shouldn't, but we do. Yeah. You know, so go to 2007. That was a good year. 2007, I felt like I was hot. I was like, man, 
I was on fire that year. I was feeling good. Oh, still taking freaking photos with my phone. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Taking photos of, there's Braxton, the photo gallery. You see him dancing right there? Oh, yeah. In the white shirt. 